In gaming news, Blizzard uh, released a, or they did a live stream earlier today to cover the new PVE mechanics coming in August. And um, boy, you can go check it out. Play Overwatch. It's on. It's on Twitch. But the the biggest unfortunate blunder slash highlight. First of all, why were they showing something with very low poly? Like not low poly, but probably low poly. But it looked like you know very low res textures. It was it was really really bad. That the 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 uh, the cutscenes that they showed right of the big mech and everything right. You start to really look at the strings attached. Like, hold on a second. Hold on. So there are games out there that, um, you know, it's referencing something called on the rail. So on the rail gaming is basically video games where you're stuck behind a cinematic camera angle and your character doesn't move. Sometimes it does, but sometimes they don't. And when they don't, the camera moves for you. Think of it like Time Crisis, right? In the arcade games where the character just moves. And it's all cutscene, right? That's on the rail, meaning like your gaming experience is on a rail, on a trail rail, right? And, or a train rail. And then you're just going to disaster or going to the next scene, right? So um, there are elements of rail uh presentation rail gaming here with this uh pve now it's understandable you're playing against the environment that's what pve stands for but there is this mech there's this big huge robot that's like a boss battle right everybody's been waiting for that they they, they did a glorified cgi trailer for that a couple of years back when you watch it okay and he does this attack that interacts with the environment near you it's it feels like a puppet show you know, it's like, dude, he's not really there. It's like almost like a pre-recording somehow. Uh, kudos to Blizzard and being able to pull off the the depth of field for this type type of event. But it's very gimmicky. At least with uh, games like uh, God of War, that huge monster is physically there next to your character, and you get to you know run up on the monster's shoulder and their arm, right? Here, the monster's so far away. I mean, at least from what we saw, we don't know if you're going to interact with him. Um, I know in the trailer, I think Genji was, you know, running up there, but that's all CGI. We don't know if you're able to run up on that monster. But I digress. In the scene that they showed, the uh, the big mech does like a laser beam attack, right? First of all, these attacks feel weak for what you imagine a big, huge robot of that size to pull off. There's a game that was like Metal Gear or something, uh, some some ninja looking blade dude. I think I'm butchering it, but he actually uh, can kick butt, right? That that plated dude, I think it's called Vengeance or something. Uh, dude, it, it, I forgot what the name of it. it. Definitely is somewhere in the Metal Gear Solid series for PlayStation 3 or so. But, you know, there's a whole combat sequence where he's fighting this huge robot and he actually slices it in half and cuts through and all that stuff. Here, the the, the Overwatch robot here, he's off in the ocean. You can't touch him, but he can shoot stuff towards you. But the stuff that he shoots feels like props. Now, granted, the whole presentation at the very bottom, it said, you know, what did it say? It said, uh, like, it, graphics are not final or something like that, right? Graphics are not final. And uh, it, the visuals are not, not final. And then it's just, it's, it's crappy because the laser beam attack, it's literally, it's like a, it's like a light that goes across the screen, kind of, and then suddenly structure that the light touches suddenly crumbles, right? To, to emphasize, oh, it attacked that, but it doesn't look like it did, right? You know, we have uh, laser beams from, from Symmetra and also, uh, Zarya. And when that stuff hits walls and hits objects, hits players, there's, there's significant amounts of effects to make it look like it's a physical entity in the world. That laser attack did not look like it was a physical entity in the world. It looked very gimmicky. You go look in the chat. I don't know if they, they, they I think I've recorded it because it's on Twitch. If you look at the chat, everybody said that this is horrible. This is, this is like watching a funeral, you know, of, of Overwatch dying. It's just so bad. So why did they present something with low res textures, you know, low poly count during this presentation? I suspect one thing. One, the loss of time. Once again, as I said before, a lot of these things are not finished. A lot of the, you know, obviously it's not finished, right? It says it's like a work in, not a work in progress, but it said it's not final, right? A lot of people blame developers for their, their uh, leadership or decision-making in, in developing games, even Overwatch developers, for example, right? They're not really to blame for the blunders that that's currently happening. They do have some influence, right? But it's not really up to them to do such dramatic big shifts. There's a lot of outside elements, uh, specifically uh, monetization issues, right? That game, for example, Overwatch 2 is for free. 
And uh, since the game is for free, well, how is the company going to make money? Microtransactions, right? Well, they've done it before, but we got rid of loot boxes because that was so controversial. Oops, stupid, right? Keep it in. Keep it in. It worked, right? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. But look how that ended up happening, right? Overwatch 2 is not Overwatch 2, right? And a lot of people are saying, well, Overwatch 2 is dying. No, it's not. They're going to do what uh, Activision did here with uh, Warzone. It's no longer called Warzone 2. It's called Warzone. I noticed that the other day, and I read an article about it too. They're like, dude, they're dropping the Warzone 2.0. I wonder why. <laughs> what's so different, right? I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, everybody, but what's so different between in Warzone 2 and Warzone 1? Nothing. The same shit, just more graphics, probably more weapons, and some little couple missions in there. Bada bing, bada boom, same shit. So developers are like, hey, yeah, why are we calling it 2? Well, you know, plans to hire this other crew to do this or that fell through, or blah, 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 or whatever. So they changed it back. Now it's a little confusing, right? Because then you're like, wait a minute, I played Wars of One, but now this is Wars of Two. But no, now it's back to Wars of One. Ah, what the fuck? I got to go to Wikipedia to understand the history, <laughs> right? Remake after remake, all that stuff. Um, but, you know, I digress. I think uh, Blizzard has to now, unfortunately, fall into that loophole, right? Into that blunder of uh, changing Overwatch 2 back to Overwatch and just keeping it that way. Just continue updating Overwatch, you know? Because what you're playing today is not Overwatch 2.0. No, it's Overwatch 1.2. And PvE is making it to 1.5. <laughs> PvE for Overwatch 2 was supposed to be Overwatch 2. But what we got was Overwatch 1.2. Well, at release, it was 1.1. 1. 1. 